So another little mini video. In this video I'm going to be adjusting the motor speed in this um, Marantz Cassettec. It's running a little bit too slow and at the back of the motor is a little hole and you can put a screwdriver in there and adjust that. Of course everything's got to be running. Um, as far as my connections are concerned I I am using a homemade plug. This is just a headphone plug, stereo headphone plug. And to that I just soldered some cable. And here's the other end. You can see here I've got one um, one of the test leads connected to one of to one of the signal wires and the other one's connected to ground. This is here like a coax cable um, and of course the meter here it's a fluke meter I guess it's reasonably accurate it's probably not as accurate as this thing down here this is a Kenwood Wowen flutter meter with the integrated frequency counter and as a of course you need some kind of a test reference of course I'm using a 3000 Hertz um, sine wave which I recorded on uh, recorded using my uh, Nakamichi uh, cassette deck and I guess this is reasonably accurate and again I think the fluke is reasonably accurate too um, gonna be close enough for me um, alternately I could have, of course tap the signal here off of this is the other end of the uh, line output jacks here or I could have went all the way around to the line output uh, jacks and let me see what we're reading now let me go ahead and I'm gonna let me get this unit to warm up for a few minutes so this is the reading I'm getting and I should be at about 3000 Hertz in fact um, probably best to do just a couple of Hertz a uh, couple of Hertz more because um, you know just the wear and tear the belts are going to start slipping and all that uh, over time or start stretching over time so basically you're compensating for that so a little bit faster than 3000 Hertz and here's the hole that my flathead screwdriver is going to fit into of course one direction is going to be speeding it up and the other direction is going to be speeding it down normally it just takes like a real tiny turn to make a big old big old difference okay I've got my screwdriver in the slot and the unit is turned on of course it's in the play position and now I'm slowly gonna go ahead and make uh, do my turn here just a little bit at a time okay I'm going clockwise here now and clockwise is speeding this thing up let me go counterclockwise counterclockwise is definitely slowing this thing down so I'm gonna get it up to a little bit over 3000 if I can so I think I might leave it around right around 3000 um, 3000 Hertz that's a frequency used because supposedly the human ear is uh, of course the human ear here it's uh, responds over a wide range of frequencies and some frequencies it responds better to than others and uh, within this frequency range 3000 Hertz is supposed to be right in the middle smack dab in the middle so that's why the 3000 Hertz is used so I think I've just about um, sums this video up of course all kinds of things can cause slow speed you might have uh, like I had uh, not too long ago with a cassette player with a boombox cassette player um, might be bearings it can be of course loose loose belts well loose and worn belts of course it could be lubrication on the belts um, 
the pinch welder pressure might not be right. Um, just, yeah, I think that about, um, that should about, that should about sums it up. Well, at least that's all I can think of for now.